שלום, שלום, שלום. Welcome to Bible Lanose Corner. We hope you had a blessed weekend this uh, Christmas and we are now coming to the end of this uh, year, 2021. And as we promised uh, that we are going to share some discussion talking about the mystery of the year 2021. We have already talked about uh, the mystery of the year 2020, but uh, today we are going to talk about uh, the mystery of the years 2020-21. that is the year 2020 and also the year 2021, talking about the things that the world is experiencing at this time when we indeed are living in the last days. As we know that the Bible has given us a warning, a sign that the world is likely to experience before the end of this age, that is to say, when the Lord Jesus Christ's second coming to, when it comes to that day and time of the Lord Jesus Christ's second coming. This world that is uh, in darkness and being ruled by Satan is coming to nothing. It's coming to zero. The present age is coming to an end very soon. And this is going to happen at a God's appointed time. No one knows the day. No one knows the hour. But there are many signs the warning signs of the end times, and these are all over the world. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. He is coming back at this time when the world is experiencing great spiritual darkness. We have already talked about uh, the spiritual midnight hour when the world is in a spiritual darkness. And as the Holy Bible says, the Lord Jesus Christ will appear on that day as a thief in the night. And as we have said, the night is when there is no light. There is uh, the natural night there is also spiritual night just as we have the darkness in the natural when there is no light in the same manner we have darkness in the spirit in the spiritual realm where people's minds are blinded they cannot see the spiritual light that is to say, they do not understand God's word of truth. They do not understand God's kingdom of light. Because this world is in spiritual darkness and is being ruled by the ruler, prince of this world of darkness, Satan, whereas people need to move into the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light that is ruled by the King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus Christ, who is coming back at this time when the world is experiencing spiritual darkness. And as we have said, the Holy Bible talking about the day of the Lord that will be like a time when a thief comes in the night, when 
a thief comes in the night. He comes when people are in slumber. This is the time that the world is in slumber. People have been deceived. They are trusting in the world and not trusting in God. Jesus Christ talked of the time of the end of this age. The day, he said, but concerning the day or the hour, no one knows. Only God knows and we need to understand God's word of truth to discern the signs of the times and the end of this age as mentioned in the Holy Bible. That's why we are having this discussion talking about uh, the spiritual midnight hour the world is living in at this time. And when we are talking of midnight, just in the natural, the midnight hour is the end of the day and moving over to the next day, which is a new day. And that new day, we expect the sun to appear again. That is when, the same way, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to appear after this darkness and as the light is going to appear and the world will see the light appearing the lord jesus christ the light coming under every eye will see him the bible talks about jesus giving a warning when he is appearing Jesus talked of the end time signs. As we read in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24, reading through the whole chapter, you see the Lord Jesus Christ predicting what was going to happen before his uh, second coming. As we read in the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming, and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against the nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many, and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, and whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But who to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days, in verse 20, and pray that your flight 
may not be in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh will be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. Therefore, if they say to you, Look, he is in the desert, do not go out, or Look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For wherever the carcass is, there the eagles will be gathered together. The book of Matthew chapter 24, reading through verses 3 to 28, talking about the, the end time signs before the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are sharing this message at this time of season, which is a winter time in this part of the world. And having had the other day, the Sabbath day, during this uh, winter time here, in the United Kingdom. The weather is not so good, it's been cold. The sun did not appear in the sky all day on the Sabbath day and just reminded me of this uh, scripture talking about uh, the time and as Jesus warned people, Jesus said, Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in the days. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 20, Jesus said, And pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the Sabbath. Talking of winter, this is a season, and at some point, if the Lord Jesus Christ won't have come back, there is summer time that is going to come after winter time. There is a summer that is going to come after winter season. And the Holy Bible in the book of Genesis chapter 8 talks about the time and season. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, the Bible says, While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. This according to the book of Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. This is a, a winter time. This is a winter time. And we are coming to the end of the year 2021. And as we are talking about uh, the mystery of the year 2021, we are going to go back to the year 2020. And we see this part of the world, the United Kingdom. There was this Brexit done in the year 2020. Now the question we asked at that time when we shared the mystery the year 2020, we asked some questions. What comes next? And 
what is likely to happen. You can listen to the message talking about the mystery of the year 2020, and this is when we saw the nation, this nation, Great Britain, coming out of uh, Europe, that is uh, Brexit, it was done. And this is something that the world needs to understand, that is part of the, the signs of the end time. This is part of the end time signs, because this is a nation that is being used to give warning signs to the whole world about the times that this world is living in. The higher the price when we are eventually forced by catastrophe to act, because humanity has long since run down the clock on climate change. It's one minute to midnight on that doomsday clock, and we need to act now. If we don't get serious about climate change today, it will be too late for our children to do so tomorrow. Not just because it's a spiritually uplifting and beautiful thing to do, but because that is the way to restore the balance of nature and to fix carbon in the air. And as we look at the green industrial revolution that's now needed around the world, we in the developed world must recognize the special responsibility we have to help everybody else to do it. Because it was here in Glasgow 250 years ago that James Watt came up with a machine that was powered by steam that was produced by burning coal. And yes, my friends, we've brought you to the very place where the doomsday machine began to tick. And even though for 200 years, the industrialized countries were in complete ignorance of the problem that they were creating, we now have a duty to find those funds. $100 billion a year that was promised in Paris by 2020, but which we won't deliver until 2023, to help the rest of the world to move to green technology. But we cannot and will not succeed by government spending alone. We in this room can deploy hundreds of billions, no question. But the market has hundreds of trillions, and the task now is to work together to help our friends to decarbonize using our funds, the funds we have in uh, development assistance, and working with all the multilateral development banks so that in the key countries that need to make progress, we can jointly identify the projects that we can help to de-risk so that the private sector money can come in. In just the same way that it was the private sector that enabled the UK to end our dependence on coal, become the, the Saudi Arabia of wind. We have the technology. We can find the finance, and we must. And the question for us all today is whether we have the will. And my fellow leaders, as I look around this room, I don't want to put too, too find a, uh, find a point on it, but you know, we all talk about what we're going to do in 2050 or 2060. I don't think it will escape the, the notice of the crowds of, of young people outside, the billions who are watching around the world, half of the population of the world under 30, that the average age of this conclave of of world leaders, uh, I'm afraid to say, is over 60. I fully intend to be alive in 2060. I will be a mere 94 years old, even if I'm not still in Downing Street. But you never know. But the children, the children who will judge us, are children not yet born, and their children. And we are now coming centre stage before a vast and uncountable audience of, of posterity. And we mustn't fluff our lines or miss our cue, because if we fail, they will not forgive us. They will know that Glasgow 
was the historic turning point when history failed to turn. They will judge us with bitterness and with a resentment that eclipses any of the climate activists of today. And they will be right. COP26 will not and cannot be the end of the story on climate change. Even if this conference ends with binding global commitments for game-changing real-world action, two weeks from now, smokestacks will still belch in industrial heartlands. Cows will still belch in their pastures, even if some brilliant Kiwi scientists are teaching them how to be more polite. Cars, powered by petrol and diesel, will still choke congested roads in the world's great cities. No one conference could ever change that. If summits alone solve climate change, then we wouldn't have needed 25 previous COP summits to get where we are today. But while COP26 will not be the end of climate change, it can and it must mark the beginning of the end. This year, 2021, we have also talked about the United Kingdom holding a conference, Climate Change, CP26. It is a global conference that was held in Glasgow here in the United Kingdom. And we talked about this time when the world is going through spiritual darkness. This is the moment when the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Mr. Boris Johnson, talked of one minute to midnight. We have talked of the one minute to midnight, what the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, meant what he meant when he talked of one minute to midnight and no one has ever asked him what he was talking about because he was speaking uttering those words and probably he doesn't know really what he meant by one minute to midnight but with the guiding of the holy spirit people need to understand that talking of midnight this is the time when you're coming to the end of a day and moving into a new day and that is what the world is experiencing at this time because this age is coming to an end there is a new age that is yet to come and as we're going to continue talking about the mystery of the year 2021 and also mentioning other things that we have already discussed, talking of the mystery of the year 2020. Also, we are going to talk about the mysteries of God's a kingdom. We already have talked about uh, God's uh, kingdom and the mystery of God's uh, creation, the mystery of sin, the mystery of Christ Jesus, the mystery of God in Christ Jesus and the mystery of Christ talking of mankind's curse of sin and death that was turned into a blessing by the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed when he died on the cross at Calvary. Man's life in the flesh is a condemnation but uh, walking and having life in the spirit is having eternal life in God's uh, kingdom of light. That is what the world is supposed to be in, but this world of darkness is going to be totally eliminated and replaced by a new earth, the earth that will be in light and no more darkness. It is already 00 GMT, as we have talked of the 00 GMT, we already have shared a message talking about already 
zero zero GMT that is already midnight and uh, the Bible also talks about the last the trumpet that is supposed to sound before the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now this one here we read it in the book of uh, Matthew chapter uh, 24 and also chapter 25. Reading through Matthew chapters 24 and 25, we'll see that we are living in the last days and this present age is coming to an end soon. There is the age to come, a new age, a new day in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light. We'll be back shortly to talk more about what we have already introduced and we'll take time. It is a long discussion and we hope that you listen to the messages. The entire discussion that is talking about the time that we are living in at this spiritual midnight hour when the world is experiencing spiritual darkness. We'll be back shortly. Stay tuned.